Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kayla from Planning with Kay and welcome back to another video. So it's been about a month so far since I started isolating, social distancing, spending most of my time right here at home. And I feel like I finally started to settle in to this new normal, figure out my ideal routine. And through it all, I've definitely realized that my bullet journal has been more essential now than it's ever been, not only for the normal planning and organization things, but especially for my mental health and my sanity. While I obviously have fewer actual events and social obligations to kind of plan around, I've been finding that my bullet journal has still been my rock through this pandemic, especially in maintaining a sense of order and control in my day-to-day -day life. I've been finding that the simple little acts of sitting down with my journal every morning and every night, crossing off my to-do list items throughout the week and filling out my spreads every day has been extra satisfying lately. Something about maintaining this structure in my journal has been really comforting with all the craziness and all of the extra time that I'm obviously spending here at home means that I find myself having a lot more energy and a lot more kind of desire to dive into my bullet journal, to invest more time into it and to really use it as a tool to stay hopeful full and focused and busy during this time. Basically, bottom line is that I've been using my bullet journal a ton recently. It's been helping me out a lot. I really don't know what I would be doing without it. And all of that extra time that I'm spending with my journal has me thinking of some new spreads that I want to set up, specifically inspired by this quarantine time that we're all in. I think a lot of us are trying really hard right now to deal with similar issues, things like how to remain optimistic and productive, entertained and connected through this crazy time. So today I'm gonna to be setting up five spreads in my bullet journal specific to this quarantine time that will hopefully help out with these unique issues that come with being locked up at home. If you're familiar with my channel, you probably know that I usually use my own handmade stickers to set up all of my bullet journal setups, but I'm gonna be doing something a little different today and this entire setup is going to be hand-drawn. I'm not gonna be using any stickers. But that being said, I know that some of you would probably prefer to buy some stickers to do some similar spreads in your own journal. So I still designed a sheet of quarantine spread stickers. These include all of the headers and the decorative elements that I'm gonna be hand drawing today. So if you'd prefer to purchase these, they are on sale in my shop for only $3. That's planningwithk.com. And of course I'll have that linked down in the description below. As a special treat, I also posted the digital slash printable versions of these stickers on my Patreon, available for all patrons. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up on patreon.com slash planningwithk starting at just $1 a month and that too will be listed down in the description below. All right, so with all of that out of the way, I'm so excited that it's finally time to jump right into my bullet journal and start setting up some quarantine bullet journal spreads. So the first page I'm gonna set up today is gonna be all about gratitude. I'm gonna have two sections here, one for a gratitude log to jot down things I'm grateful for, whether that's big or small, and then another section below that where I'm gonna write down any good news that I hear, whether that's personal news or something I see or hear about out in the world, anything that makes me smile. Now this may seem silly if you've never done any sort of gratitude journaling before, but trust me, especially when times are tough, consciously expressing gratitude really does help improve mental health. There have actually been studies done on this, you don't have to take my word for it, you can look it up. It's easy to get bogged down by tragedy or bad news during tough times and get trapped in a cycle of negative thoughts. So that is why taking the time to sit down and think about the positive and express gratitude for those things and actually physically writing it down can really help pull you out of that. So definitely give this a try, especially if you've been struggling recently. I'm also gonna be including a couple of decorative pages in this video just doing some easy little doodles that should be straightforward enough if you do want to recreate this at home. I wanted to go for a slightly more minimal feel for these spreads, so I'm using a really simple set of supplies and a limited color palette using just one black pen. This is just a simple black pen, the Tombow Mono Drawing Pen in the size 02, and then three Crayola Super Tip Markers in light pink, light blue, and light gray. I'm starting this page off with the phrase, stay home, save lives. We are in this together, right in the middle. 
I feel like this is the most important message there is to spread right now, just stressing the importance of social distancing and staying connected through it all. So I definitely wanted to include this message in this setup. Right above that, I'm drawing a cute little house doodle since we're all stuck at home right now with some smoky hearts coming from the chimney to make it extra cute and cozy. I feel like this whole spread is really about trying to remain positive and optimistic through this for our mental health sake. And most of all, remembering that we are all in this together. So moving along to the second quarantine spread that I'll be setting up today, I'm going to focus in on entertainment. So that means music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, books, all of the things that are really getting us through right now and keeping our minds occupied. So on the left here, I'm creating a quarantine playlist page. I'm sure you've seen other bullet journalists do something similar before. I know that I personally really love Amanda Rach Lee's monthly playlist pages that she sets up in her bullet journal every month. It's something I've been wanting to try out for myself for a while, so I figured why not now? Music has always been a very comforting and therapeutic outlet for me, but especially now I'm listening to more music than ever it feels like and really using it as a way to keep my energy and mood up throughout the day. I especially love singing along to songs in the morning to wake myself up and get hyped for the day. And I also often have music playing as I'm working throughout the day for a bit of background noise. So I thought I'd compile some of my favorite jams here, some songs and artists that have been on repeat recently, and I think I'll continue to do this every month. So I'm creating some decoration around my playlist here, starting off with another cozy little house doodle at the top. I almost wanted this to look sort of like an album cover or a playlist cover. I then drew in a bunch of music notes around the page and all that's left to do now is actually write in my quarantine playlist. So some songs that I've been blasting on repeat recently. To lead it off, I wrote down Everything by Hayley Williams and Everything by King Princess. If you don't know either of these artists, please look them up, listen to their music. They are both incredible female artists and some of my favorites right now. I also wrote in Lean On Me to honor the late Bill Withers, Three Little Birds by Bob Marley, Mr. Jones by Counting Crows. I've also been on a Grimes kick recently, so I wrote down two of her songs that I've been loving. And finally, The River by Aurora. I love everything by Aurora, but I've been listening to this song in particular on repeat recently. Now on the next page, I'm going to create a spot to keep track of new movies, TV shows, podcasts, and books that I've been consuming during this time of quarantine. I'm really curious if you guys have any good recommendations, especially for movies and podcasts. I'm really open to all genres and types. I'm just really itching for new content right now, some new media to consume to pass the time. So please leave all your best movie and podcast recommendations below. I'd love to check them out and I'll be sure to write down some of those suggestions right here on this page so that way I don't forget about them. I'll also then rate each thing out of five once I've watched it or listened to it or read it. And this will be just a fun activity for me to try and fill this whole page up by consuming a whole bunch of new entertainment. There's never really been a better time to do this than now since we're all locked up at home with nowhere to go. So I figured I'd channel all of that movie watching, podcast listening energy somewhere and keep track of which ones I like and which ones I don't. On to quarantine spread number three, I'm going to create a spot to flesh out my ideal daily schedule, along with a spot for a list of activities to do throughout the day, and finally a spot to keep track of recurring weekly events. The biggest help for me by far throughout the last month has been maintaining a consistent daily schedule. When you're trapped at home all day, it's really easy to waste your time doing nothing. You can get bored, spend hours scrolling through social media, take one too many naps. I think we've all been in that headspace at one time or another. Trying to stick to some kind of daily schedule can give your day meaning, structure, purpose, if you will, and it helps to make the day fly by when it may have normally dragged on for ages. 
So for me, I try to wake up at the same time every day. For me, that's around 7.30, 8 a.m. I'll then usually spend the morning eating breakfast, cleaning up the apartment, and planning my day until I start work at 10 o'clock. I then work until noon. I eat lunch and watch TV for an hour as a little break. I then get back to work until dinner time, and I then spend my evenings unwinding before bedtime around 11 p.m. or midnight. The schedule obviously looks a little bit different day by day depending on whether I am taking the day off from work or not, but the timing of everything is still pretty much consistent. I usually wake up and go to bed around the same time. I eat my meals at the same time, and this keeps my body clock in order and makes it easier to find something to do all day long. In case I do find myself restless or bored without something to do, I did create some sections here for possible activities to do throughout the day. I have both productive activities as well as some for fun options. On the right side, I'm finishing this spread off with a schedule of recurring weekly events. Now, I don't really actually have a lot to write down here, but if you're someone who has a regular weekly Zoom schedule, maybe Zoom meetings for work or school or something similar, this will be especially useful for you. All right, next up is my favorite page in this entire setup, and that is my happy mail tracker. I've been doing a lot of painting in my spare time this year. It's been a goal of mine to do more art for fun on a regular basis. So I'm usually playing around with watercolor or acrylics. And I recently got the idea to send little paintings in the mail to some of my friends and family as little, I don't know, I guess like quarantine presents just to spread the love right now and make us all feel a little more connected during this particularly isolating time. So what I did is I just made a post on my personal Instagram asking people to send me their address if they wanted a painting. From that, I got this nice little list of people. So I'll be working on these paintings slowly over the next month or so. It'll give me a nice excuse to paint more a little weekend activity, and it'll also be a really nice treat for these people to look forward to and a bit of happy mail to make their day a little better. So for my tracker here, I just created four columns to keep track of the name and address of my happy mail recipients, the content of their package, and then finally a spot to write in the date when I do send it out. So on the right side of this page, I'm going to do another little decorative page again. The theme of this spread is to stay connected, although it's obviously critical that we all isolate physically right now and spend time apart from our loved ones. It's equally important that we remain close and connected in the ways that we can. If you're feeling alone, remember Remember that there are still plenty of ways to connect with those around you, whether that's through letters or FaceTime, Zoom meetings or Instagram messages. And it's so important that we remind ourselves and others that we are loved and we are not alone through this. So I created this little phrase that says, stay connected with some envelopes, pencils, stamps, and a little video chat icon swirling around it. And that is it for this happy mail spread. Finally, now moving on to the last spread in this setup, I'm going to create a place for keeping track of grocery lists, go-to meals, and recipe ideas. I know that food has been a big focus through this pandemic, and rightfully so. A lot of people are learning for the first time how to survive and cook for themselves full-time. Grocery shopping has become quite the ordeal, so anything that makes things easier on us food-wise is a plus right now. Having a ready-to-go grocery list is definitely one easy thing you can do to make your grocery trips quicker and more efficient, So that way you can get in and out of there as quickly as possible and minimize the amount of trips that you'll need to make due to forgotten items and insufficient shopping. When shopping, we personally always try to make sure that we stock up on those long-lasting and non-perishable items, things like canned food, pasta, and frozen things. We purchase a variety of produce, that way we can use any of it in any of our recipes. And we're always sure to think of our three meals a day, selecting various options for all three to ensure we have some variety with our meals. I also wanted to keep a list here of a bunch of our go-to meal options. When you're cooking from home all the time, 
It can sometimes be difficult to decide what you wanna eat, what you wanna make, and creating enough variety in your menu. So having a big list of meal options to choose from is a great resource when you just can't make a decision. And also it makes it easier to think of exactly what you need to buy at the store to create those meals each week. So I'm creating three sections here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'm then just listing a bunch of our favorite meals under those that we cook most often. To finish off this spread, I'm gonna create a spot for new recipes to try on the right. This will just encourage me to keep a lookout for yummy new recipes to mix it up a little. And with that, that is the last of these five types of quarantine spreads. I hope at least one of these spreads appealed to you and made you think about how you can utilize your bullet journal during this period of social isolation. And no matter what, I hope it reminded you to stay home, save lives, stay connected, and we're all in this together. And with that guys, that is it for this video. Don't forget that those quarantine spread stickers are available in my shop on sale for just $3 in both pink and blue versions. The printable and digital versions of these are also posted on Patreon, available starting at just $1 a month. So if you're interested in receiving either the physical or digital versions of these stickers, be sure to check out the links down below to my sticker shop and my Patreon. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below. And also let me know in the comments down below which of these spreads was your favorite. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already at Planning with K, and don't forget that all of the links to my sticker shop, my Patreon, all other social media are right down there in the description below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.